Hello, I'm Rob with ScrappyDoo.com, and I hope you're ready for another great tutorial. We're just going to be uh, showing you how to weld in Inkscape, and one of the reasons to weld in Inkscape uh, compared to doing it in Scal is because, say, you wanted to share this file with someone, they don't have to have that same font installed in order to use it. Uh, and in Inkscape, it's a little easier to uh, to manipulate the text and get the w the way you want, uh, you know, the first time go around. But uh, you know, the downside of this is that uh, the person would have to have Inkscape, of course, to edit the text if they were to import it into Scal. So all right, so let's go ahead and get started. This is a fresh, fresh document right here. And what you're going to need to do first is um, select the font, and I just happen to select Cooper Standard Black as the font. I have my font size set at 64, and uh, you can go ahead and select Apply, and then go ahead and hit Close. Um, we're going to need to do next is select the uh, the text tool and go ahead and click anywhere. And for this example, I'm just going to type in Scrappy Do. And uh, once we have that, we're going to be welding the uh, the DEW to the uh, to the Y. And that, now there's several ways of doing this. Uh, I'm just going to show you a quick way of doing this. And uh, you can see another video tutorial that we'll have on it's called kerning text so um, this one we're just going to be, uh, be manipulating the text using this selection tool so I just hit return a couple times in order to bring it down it makes it easier to, uh, to select it later on uh, once you have it like that all you have to do is uh, I'm going to click the selection tool and uh, as you can see the, uh, the text is, is grouped right now and it is a text it's not a path what we're going to need to do next is go to path object to path and as you can see it is uh, still grouped together so um, we're going to go to path break apart and once once you see that happen you're going to notice that the uh, the, the text has lost its uh, you know inside cuts and not to worry we can just go to view um, we're going to go to display mode outline and you can see that they're still intact um, what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to draw a box around the the text DEW and I'm gonna stick it right there on the Y now uh, if, if I zoom up zoom in here you can see that uh, if this were to cut it would cut a small corner right there so in order to weld this together um, you can do it several ways um, what I'm gonna gonna do now is uh, I'm gonna go ahead and select the Y select the D and I'm just gonna hit path union and it just welded those letters together keeping the uh, keeping the inside cut and then uh, to keep it as a group you can go ahead and select everything go to hit path and go back to combine and as you can see it uh, it grouped it together so it's uh, e you can easily move it as a group now the one thing to keep in mind once you hit union it's a final deal you know there's no going back um, unless you of course you hit undo but uh, I just wanted to show you real quick on uh, on what would happen if you didn't if you just went straight to Union after you broke it apart so let's go ahead and take a look at that real quick so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, undo undo and uh, and for this we're gonna go ahead and uh, select the DEW we're going to bring it back up here. And now, if we were to select everything and hit Union, you'll notice that the insides will disappear. So let's go ahead and go to Path, Union, and as you can see, the insides disappear. So that's why we, we selected the exterior of the Y and the exterior of the D in order to weld those two letters together. It still kept the insides intact. So that's something that you'll have to be, uh, have to be careful of. So right, so uh, that does it with, with welding. You know, all you have to do is go to File Save and uh, go ahead and import it into uh, into Scal. So with that, I'm Rob with ScrappyDo.com, and I hope I'll see you next time.